All right. Um, so in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, it's asking you to solve the zeros. And what I told you guys is I wanted you to solve by factoring, right? That's what I told you guys to do in your directions was to factor. So therefore, if you guys remember, first thing, if we're going to be solving by factoring, we're going to replace our f of x or our, um, our y with a 0. That should have been the first step. There's really no mathematical much thinking or doing to that. That was just the process that we did, because we understand that if we want to solve and we have multiple x's, we need to apply the zero product property. We can only apply the zero product property if our equation or function is set equal to 0. So that was the first step. Uh, the next step was to factor out any common terms. So is there any terms that they all have in common? You can see that they all share an x. So I can factor out an x. Okay. Now I have the product of two by, now I have the product actually of two uh, polynomials equal to zero. So therefore I can apply the zero product property. So x equals zero and 5x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals zero. Well again, I still need to solve, right? So you could say, all right, well hey, this works, but this is going to be a little bit difficult to solve, right? So I got to think, all right, well what are the ways that we learned in class how to solve? Well there's three ways we learned how to solve because we spent a whole chapter solving equations just like this. You could either look into factoring. If factoring doesn't work, you could look into completing the square. If completing the, I wouldn't probably want to do completing the square for this one. If completing the square doesn't work, then you can do quadratic formula. But you guys have three options, three options. So the first thing I'm going to do is look into factoring. If you remember, when factoring a trinomial, that we can factor that into two binomials. All right. Now this one isn't that bad, because ladies and gentlemen, you know, I know there's the x method and all the kind of stuff figured out, and that's perfectly fine. But for time purposes, um, I'm not going to be you know, going over this. If you think about this, the only two numbers that it could possibly be to give me 5x are 5x and x. What are the only two numbers that multiply to give you positive 1 and negative 1? Or I'm sorry, positive 1. Those are the only two possible factors. Do you guys agree 1 times 1 is 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is, is 1? Those are my only options. I have no other options. So the only thing I need to determine is which one, which of these binomials, when I multiply my inner and my outer terms, give me a positive 6x. The first one or the second one? The first one. So guess what? It's been factored. Done. OK, now can I apply zero product property again to solve for all my zeros? Yes. So 5x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x equals negative 1 fifth, x equals negative 1. Therefore, my solution set is negative 1 fifth, negative 1, 0. Done. That wasn't that bad, was it? It was? 